Okay. Hello, Twitch, and now also hello, YouTube. Hi, guys. Vexier. Welcome to episode one of my super hostile Vexylvania developer commentary, which is currently being live streamed on Twitch. And if you're on YouTube, it was live streamed like a, a while ago. Um, I figured I'd live stream the first episode to Twitch and then upload it to YouTube uh, like normal. So uh, while episodes two through whatever uh, might have more editing, uh, because it's a live stream, I'm not going to be going to be doing any editing. And for the YouTube audience, you can see the uh, Twitch live stream chat here on the right side of the screen. Um, no, uh, no stream overlay. Um, normally, you know what, actually, uh, let's pop it up for just a second to show the YouTube audience what I am in fact talking about, because they might, uh, maybe open VC face, please. Will VC face, will VC face open? Yes, there it is. Yes, hello. Start. Uh, normally when I stream Minecraft, I use, uh, I use this setup here. Um, yes, hello. Yes, hello there. Uh, and this thing's tracked with my camera. This is my VTuber avatar. I'm thinking of remaking my avatar again, and, uh, making a 2D one. A two-dimensional one that looks more like my classic skin. Uh, which you can see in my YouTube channel artwork and other places. Um, yeah, I also have the hand tracking technology, which I don't have turned on right now, or I can hold up my hands and like wave. Um, but yeah, so this is a little cluttered, I think, for a developer commentary. So we're just going to go back to the, uh, which one? This one. There we go. Uh, so this has the... Um, this has the Twitch chat, and that's basically it. No, no other stream overlay, and no, um, no VTube avatar or anything like that. <clears throat> okay, so without further ado, let's jump into this. Uh, so episode one, Vexylvania developer commentary. Oh God. Okay. Uh, I think I have the right version of the map. Hopefully, it doesn't like. Crash, let's see. Difficulty, uh, normal difficulty, time set zero. I, I don't remember if I was working on this or not. I, I don't, I don't think it matters that much. Uh, everything looks right. Uh, so welcome to Vexylvania. So immediately, it is a much more foreboding atmosphere than, uh, Spellbound Caves 2, which was, uh, very easy. But, you know, you still have the rules. Uh, welcome to Vexylvania. Uh, I got my affiliate stuff here. Thanks to the patrons. Love my patrons. Like, actually, I would I would have not... I cannot be doing this without my patrons. Uh, still have assist mode here. Same as Spellbone Caves 2. Uh, did not used to, in earlier versions of this, I did not have as many waystones. Um, that's because the map was supposed to be harder, and the map is also smaller. Um, so there is that. It looks like my... we are on... yeah, okay, we're on normal. So the honey pots I added are doing work on account of this place not being like max spawn all along the walls over here. You would just see a bunch of red HP bars all over the place. Uh, but we are uh, exposed to the sky. Uh, there's a red HP bar in the darkness over there. But otherwise, a fairly chill spawn. In my early testings of this, I had a bunch of, uh, I had max spawn in here, and you would get struck by lightning on the, on the spawning pad. It's a bit much. Okay, so, but this time we have, like, a chance to kind of, uh, don't need that, kind of a chance to breathe, um, so we spawned in practically looking at this. Future Diary, the Mirai Nikki, by you, from the past. I swear to God, if a if a pink-haired girl jumps out and calls me Pookie, I'm gonna run away. Uh, 
I've decided to keep a brief journal on my journey to Vexylvania in case I fall down a huge cliff onto a convenient raised platform that I that is lit up. Ah, I fell down from up there, I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, if I slip trying to get down these cliffs, I would probably lose my memory and need a need this as a reminder. Hello, future me. You are invited to attend a vampire castle fantasy role playing experience by an agent of Housevania. Something about research. They weren't very clear on that last point, but it sounded fun, so you agreed. I agreed. We. How does that work? You lost the paperwork about where to go and what to do, so you, me, we just decided to climb down this giant cliff. Well, I'm about to climb down, and I'm writing this right now in case I fall and get amnesia. Always plan ahead. I see a lot of lava, so I hope that if I do fall, most of my stuff doesn't get lost up in the lava and burn up. I've brought tons of supplies and dragon steel weapons and armor. I'm so ready to have a vampire castle experience. Yeah, let's go! And then, and then you fall. And then a cursory inspection of the chest here will reveal, well, uh, backpack. Or, if you're Finn, pack pack. Uh, will, will in fact reveal that uh, you do not have dragon steel weapons and armor. You you have well you actually have some good stuff, so let's put the put the backpack on me. Oh and to pick up a backpack in case you didn't know, it's a shift B will drop it on the floor off of your body. And if you crouch crouch and break it, it puts it on. So that's how backpacks work and you press B to open it. And it's this is basically an ender chest at the uh, if you die uh if you die you'll uh keep what's in your backpack. All right, so we have we have some common quality baubles, which will just boost our HP. So four HP from that, four HP from that. That's a total of eight. Sweet. All right, what else we got? We got quest book, which useless, don't need. Um, actually, you know what? There's, I think there's, I think there might be one thing that you could do with that, right? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is useful. I could have used it to craft a... It, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, we have food. We have leftover garlic breadsticks. So... Slightly more generous starting chest. Uh, we have mandrake pie, which gives night vision and water breathing. These are basically like low-quality night vision potions. That also give uh, food. Um... Just in case the starter area, starter area is too dark. I think it should be okay. There's plenty of, like, braziers around. Um, but also, you do have a scuffed miner's friend, which is like a basic miner's friend, but, uh, well, scuffed. That's another 10 HP, so you get 18 extra hit points from the uh, starting gear. And these are basically permanent, right? Because you'll never drop these. Even if you die, so you have you have plus eighteen to your hit points just from the start of the map. Um, starting quests, uh, same as any other map. Don't really need the backpack. Don't really need an atlas. I suppose I'll grab the starting supplies, starting tools, and we'll start with a mace because of the undead bonus and we'll pick up some more hp from this armor hopefully we'll see what kind of quality rolls we get uh common and uncommon that's fine it's more hit points we will be chunky people and go ahead and purify this skadoosh eat some more quest uh organize my inventory one two don't have a ranged option yet access four not gonna use a shovel for a bit all right 18 extra hit points seems ominously generous. I mean, yeah, this is a tough map. Uh, I, I gave the starting players, like, a little bit of extra leeway compared to the uh, first version of the map. Um, the first version just had the Scuffed Miner's Friend, and then this is this is 8 extra hit points, which is, like, what, 1 hit? Like, uh, 1 extra hit? Maybe? Um, the visibility? Tunnel and cat? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, these mandrake pies, if you wanted night vision to start with. 
Um, I don't really have a much of a problem with it, but anyway. Uh, so let's go down here. So this is the, this is the, this is the I died and lost everything and I'm about to rage quit. So, hints. Uh, this map is meant to be quite hard. Worst case scenario, treat this starter platform like a skyblock map and start with birch and wheat farming. So you could, what could you do? You could start with this quest here. Topography mod, or how do I play Vex block? Um, this quest requires nothing to beat. You can just click this button and you'll get a seed, some bone meal, a piece of dirt, and a hoe. So it's it's really not much, but this is theoretically like if you just had a stone block in the void and not bedrock. Because if you have bedrock, if you do have bedrock, you get um, a bit of bit of, is it an adventure awaits? Yeah. If you look at a bedrock block, you beat this quest of Delve Deep, and yeah, the quest even tells you, you can take this XP and get your farming to level 6 with this XP, and level 6 farming, so you would level up your farming bop, 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 to level 6. Uh, and then, your reward for hitting level 6 farming is 9 dirt and a hoe and... A basic complement of like starter crops. So uh, behind this is a behind this is a base with I believe there's bedrock back here. Um, I don't really want to use that. Uh, if you're really sad, break the sand and look behind it. Try to beat the map. Well, you know what? Actually, for the developer commentary, I no 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 don't look at the bedrock. I don't want to try to use it. Okay, so there's the bedrock. I didn't look at it, right? I did. Oh, I'm not going to turn the quest in. Okay, we'll just chill and not turn that quest in. And then in here is art containers. Like, get a little bit of life back. So we're going to put this back. And, uh... Wah. Okay, so I'm going to try to not use that. I would prefer to not. That is a that is a don't rage quit the map just yet. Try this. Um, so you could theoretically set up like some dirt blocks here and try to farm inside this little chamber, which is lit up and relatively safe. Um, this chamber right here is intended for you to like sort your inventory and like assuming you haven't played the mod pack before, you might want to take some time and, like, I don't know. God help you if you haven't played the mod pack before and you're jumping into this as your first map. I would recommend Spellbone Caves 2 or even Jungle of Secrets before Vexylvania. But you could theoretically start Vexylvania as your first ex uh, first exposure to the mod pack. And if that's the case, you're definitely going to need to grab that backpack and probably walk down here and just take some time and read through starting quests and get a feel of, like, what you're doing. Um, so this is, uh, there's monsters that can call down lightning from above on your head, and just being inside an area with a roof above your head is enough to, like, not have to deal with that. So that's what that's for. Um, alright. So, our first challenge is, so this is the thing that's most likely to kill me, and that is to, uh, fall, and just fall into uh yeah uh i'm going to grab some actual a, a block that could theoretically be used so the thing that's most likely to kill me is just basic platforming so let's just hop down here and not fall in the lava but theoretically i could try to like put this lantern on the side or I suppose now I have access to real blocks. Um, but yeah. I don't have to jump that much here. But this, like, basic platforming and falling is, is, is a lot more likely to do me in than, um, combat. Um, I playtested this area a few times with different experiences each time based on random spawning. Um, so hint, uh, by default, 
Press spacebar to jump, so that's good that I tell you that. See how helpful I am? Blue Jello says, I completely failed the last jump there on my first try. Oh boy. Static says, imagine players actually reading useful information clearly provided to them. Right? That would be amazing. I'm not really used to that happening. So I'm being really helpful here, right? Like, you have everything you need to beat the map with that, that little hint. Spot check. DC 17. Hello. So, trap. Um, do I trigger it? Do I just let myself fall into this once? Alright. Poison and wither. Uh, should not kill you. Although, theoretically, like, a natural spawn monster could be around the corner or something, and you could get in a little bit of trouble here. So, uh, this is actually a good demonstration of a mechanic in this mod pack. Uh, if you stay out of combat for a little bit, you'll get a rapid healing mode, and you'll watch my heart start to flash really fast as they heal. Yeah, here it is, here it is, that's it, right there. Um, that rapid healing mode is extra healing on top of, uh, we're gonna turn that off. Uh, when you turn it off, it triggers one last time. So that might get you. How long is that going to last? Because I... I would consider grabbing some of the potions out of here. Can I reach this without getting my face in this? I would rather not have to, like, go through another round of poison wither combo, if possible. If that can be arranged. Uh, lingering potion of decay and... Oh, pose, poison. Blah. Um... Poison is not going to be very useful, because a lot of the enemies in here are, in fact, undead. Um, the Decay, though, I guess I'll just take this, and we'll see if there's ever a situation where I'm above a group of enemies. Um, yeah. Alright, let's see if I can get access to a ranged weapon. Are there any of these uncommon? They're all common? They're literally all common. Okay, so we have the Wood Javelin is my ranged option right now. And this is the update with Spartan Weaponry where they revamped the throwing items. I love this. This is great. Um, these used to just, like... Like, if my axe here was a throwing axe, it, they used to kind of work just like you have the weapon and then you would just throw it out like that, kind of. And then the weapon would be out of your inventory and gone. They revamped it to work instead like this where you can see my ammunition counter below my crosshair here. And once your ammo is depleted, it turns into a ghost version of the weapon, but the weapon is actually still here, and you could repair this at an anvil um, in case you can't go get your your expended burn ammo. But then you go get it back, and it refills. And so your javelin is now a stack of, like, four javelins, and your... Uh... <sighs> The boomerang still works the same, I think, although it, it switched to the same system, but you can't really tell much of a difference. Um, the throwing axe is in stacks of eight, and the throwing knives are in stacks of 16. So four, eight, 16. Um, so there's more differentiation between the uh, things. Now here... If you're a new player, I would advise... Uh, so the way you would clear rooms is... You need to be knowledgeable of the aggro mechanics of Minecraft enemies, where they gain line of sight to you and uh, attack you. So, what does that mean? Uh, okay, let me show you an example. Let me put down, like, this thing here and this thing here. So let's pretend that... I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten any natural spawns in here yet, but I, I've heard monsters around. Um, so this is an enemy, this is like a zombie, and this is a zombie. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're new, and we're low level. So your tactic here, as you slowly clear this place, um, what you're going to want to do is you want to sneak and check the room. And so this right here is me being nice. This iron bar right here. 
Okay, so mechanically what this is, this is a transparent block, which will let you see the room, but if you... Uh, what's the what's the command to do hitboxes? Show hitboxes in Minecraft. Is it F3B? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I can see through... Um, the aggro mechanics in Minecraft are based on, like, drawing a line... I believe it's... To, I want to say it's to the middle of your hitbox. I believe. Now... So, but this transparent block, you can look through the iron bar and get a sense of, like, what's in the room. And this enemy right here, represented by that lantern, might aggro on me. This one would not have, because I could see it. Now, also, so what you could do is, you want to, uh, in, in a game like World of Warcraft, or EverQuest, or whatever else you play, um, this activity is called Pulling. And if you're weak and don't know what you're walking into, you would want to see one enemy and expose your hitbox to the enemy to get his attention and let him aggro on you where he starts to attack you and let him walk over here and pull back to here and fight him, right? And that way the other one won't join the fight. Uh, so pull, you would want to exit, use pulling mechanics here, straight out of a, an MMORPG. Um, so that's, that's basically that. Now, uh, so a lot of these iron bars around this area... Hey, Dank Shamwell, thank you so much for... Oh, Top Sauce, thank you for gifting a subscription to Dank Shamwell. Appreciate it, man. Uh, anybody who subscribes to me on Patreon or Twitch uh, can play... On my game servers. Okay, so the point, the reason I did all these iron bars is, well, one, they look ominous, right? Like, you're in a dark, scary dungeon area. Like, it, it does telegraph that to the player. But mechanically speaking, they let you see, like, okay, so there's a zombie here, but I look over and I see, like, zombies over there, and I fight this one, I'm going to know I'm in range to social aggro these zombies over here. Uh, because I can see them, and they can't see me, because they can't see through the iron bars, but I can. Uh, so we're in an area called Involuntary Orthopedics. Uh, this was your, this place was originally called... Um, I want to say, like... I forget. I don't remember if it was called, like, Torture Dungeon, or... Something like that. But I would, I would prefer my mod pack to remain family-friendly as best I can manage that. To be appropriate for, like, all ages of people who would play Minecraft. Ish. Um, so I was like, okay, don't call it Torture Dungeon. That's, that's too much. So I was like, okay, what can I call it? And I was like, ah, Involuntary Orthopedics. Which is, yeah, that... See, it, it's, it's funny, right? Um... That's an interesting... This is interesting. Yeah. So there's a there's an optional boss in here. He is an incinerator, and depending on what mods he could roll out with, if he rolls Infernal, I think he always rolls Infernal, um, he could be kind of tough, which is why he's optional. Like, he doesn't mess with you until uh, until you go rub your face in this in this coffin, right? Um, I think I could take him with three HP bars. I would feel a little better if I had a shield to block with. So let's grab that and throw that on my offhand. Yeah. What quality did that roll? Common. Well, that's fine. Now I can block, which... You know what? That Well, it's more HP, I suppose, but I, I'm not going to block his flamethrower. So let's try to fight this thing. And, yeah. Uh, being family-friendly... Is, does this burn me if I stand on it? No. The campfires do, but the braziers don't. Uh, the family-friendly aspect of the map is something that came up a few times when designing a gothic vampire castle. So, Vexylvania has a storyline that basically addresses that, uh, which we'll get to in later episodes, but the vampires are... They kind of modernized and changed... And they're not really interested in, like, doing evil vampire stuff as much as as they, they used to. They're, 
we'll we'll get to that later. But um, in a lot of ways, the player in Vexylvania is kind of the bad guy. If you sit down and think about it, and they don't sparkle. <laughs> um, all right, let's get this over with. Um, I'm gonna open this. Uh, I'm gonna open this. Yeah, throw the thing at him. Uh, he says, I was hiding! Welcome to my office, now you die. So I'm gonna hit him with that. How much HP you got, buddy? Okay. Let's keep dodging. Uh, if he sets me on fire... Oh, he's charging me. What are you gonna do now? Flamethrower? Melee. Yeah, see, his melee attack really hurts. This is where I would... would block. Go on. Huh. <sighs> okay. And for all of my effort, I get no drops and two... two XP. Uh, if he rolls, like, a, um... Infernal modifier or something like that, um... And you're not ready... Uh, that could be a dangerous fight. Um... He hits pretty hard. Your actual prize, though, your guaranteed one, is the coffin here has a, um, I don't remember what I used here. I, I believe it's a, oh, I got a poison bomb. That's neat. Common, a spell book, redstone. Oh, we got redstone. That's kind of cool. Enderpearl. Enderpearl would let me cheese this area super fast. I could just chuck it and, you know, call it a day. Uh, also a food bundle, which, wait a minute. We don't have a basic Minecraft sword, otherwise I think I could go ahead and make a follower, right? Uh... Bundle? Forgot the recipe. Oh, the gold! You still need gold. Right, right, right. It's, uh, yeah. Combat NPC. Food bundle, two gold. Alright, whatever. Don't have two gold, though. And I don't think... Have I missed any secrets yet? You can check by getting closer to the wall in the dark areas with your miner's friend. And bringing the light over to it. Uh, don't fall in the lava here. Uh, and so you're, uh, the earlier times I tested this, I had to kill a lot more natural spawn monsters. Um, I even got a few infernals and had some nail-biting combats that were really like, you know, block, hit, block, hit, back up, you know, dodge, because they're about to throw a projectile, right? Like a ghastly, like, I think I had like a ghastly zombie or something, something like that. Um... I don't have the key. Let me go get the key. Hold on a sec. Wait a minute. That's a secret right there. Right there. Spot check. Uh, DC. Eh. Maybe DC 20 on that one. Uh, DC. Uh, that's from Dungeons and Dragons. It stands for difficulty class or difficulty check. Um. Got the key. And you would just roll your dice and add your add your you know skill proficiency for like uh, perception and uh, so when I say like spot check DC twenty that would be a a harder one right I'm a D and D nerd okay so this tests your knowledge of ancient warfare but you should know that uh, if you look if you glance down here you'll be like oh this is that okay so the door is blah size and I know that the corner of a blah size door is right here and that opens it and your prize is a combat NPC I suppose the guy was hiding um, hiding in here and some like yucky food actually the, the sausage rolls are really good quite like the sausage rolls um, and you can't really sleep. I, does that beat any quests? No. Uh, time is not a huge factor in here. So, again... This time, there's something more interesting in this cell. Uh, Anastasia, the human paladin. Hello, Anastasia. Uh, do you mind if I have your food? 
Can I take it? Say nothing if you want me to have your food. Oh, she nodded. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. All right, cool. Um, so here's a command block, and it teleports all entities within five blocks to the Victory Monument, consumes a special blue token found in the chest. So basically, you go to the Victory Monument, take the special token out of the chest, and this is the only time I've used a blue token so far. Um, and yeah, it's just a way to get an NPC across the map. Um, yeah, cook, cook, cooked parasites kind of gross. Uh, I would rather take this and make it into bait personally. Gonna get into that. Gonna get into that strand type gameplay later. But I'm I'm too dumb. I'm too dumb to understand the strand gameplay. But we'll explain that later. Uh, so Anastasia can basically. Um, she trades you, but what she's actually doing in my in my like in my in my mind here, what she's actually doing is uh crafting. Like you're providing her with resources, and she is taking those resources and then making something for you, is is what she's supposed to be doing. Um, I haven't figured out a great way to address the NPCs not talking. I would love for you to right click on somebody and for there to get, be like even the most rudimentary like conversation tree, right? Um, that would be a great addition to Ancient Warfare NPCs. Uh, there is a mod that has NPCs that will do that, but that mod is, it was, I forget what it's called, but basically it was ridiculously unstable and lagged really bad. It was, it was, that was, a, it was a great idea, but the, under the hood of that mod was a rat's nest of misery that should not be put in a mod pack. Sorry to say. <clears throat> um, yeah, I would be happy with like any kind of rudimentary dialogue. Uh, like, at all would be great. Um, so yeah, so there's a number of things. Uh, the most useful might be 5 silver to get a smite 2 silver mace. Um, getting a silver mace with smite on it, um, for the new, new people, I think most people watching this understand, but for the new people, it, the material... In this mod pack, the material of the weapon can have effects, and one of those is that silver has a material bonus of doing more damage to undead. Then the type of the weapon will give it different properties, like the javelin is throwable, and the and in this case, the flanged mace also has a bonus to undead. So the type of the weapon, it being a mace, has a bonus to undead, and the material of the weapon also gives a bonus to undead, so a silver mace is just does a bajillion damage to undead. Well, double basically. Um, and it's got smite on it, which does more damage to undead. So having all that together, this is a this is a this is an absolute zombie bopper. Um, it says 9.8 damage, and you would double that to just shy of 20. Throw the smite in there, so a, a zombie that has 20 HP and even a few points of armor should still get one shot without a crit. Just you left click on him and he's gone. Uh, so that's a great weapon for this map. Um, she's got a bunch of stuff. Uh, in the interest of time, I'm not going to look at, at all of it. Um, she can make gold out of... If you just need gold from a source and you have a bunch of iron and heart and spare heart containers you don't need anymore, you can convert it to gold. That might be handy. Um, she's got this unique ring... So she can take her loot tokens. Instead of you rolling these into crates, loot crates, she can make that for you, which is kind of cool. Um, and she does have a healing wand that's pre-rolled to divine quality, but that's going to cost you a gold token, which I would definitely recommend getting... I'm definitely doing this. I'm definitely picking up the uh, divine wand with my first gold token, if I can. Um... And then she does give you uh, these. Are, these are a bunch of like healing, healing magic spells here. So uh, yeah, but there's not much we can do with Anastasia right now. So she's just gonna chill there. In fact, I might close this door for her. Oh yeah. Uh, just for her safety. I. The thing is though, she does have a. Uh, she's she's kind of she's she's a bit of a chonker. 
She's got, uh, I think, white dragon scale armor and some other things. She's got a... Would you eat a random pork chop hidden in a wall somewhere? Uh, yeah. I gotta say, that would be convenient if you could just whip the wall and a, and a pork chop would fall out. And... What? I'm taking the chest, too. Alright. I, I think I'm gonna double back and also go for this over here. Uh, I need a few building blocks. Hmm... What could we use? Could rip apart... Could rip apart whatever this area is. And I guess grab some of this. That would work. I, what did I do for this? What is this? This is a gibbet facing south, and I managed to, like... So when you put your arm, you get on top of this here, and you put your arms through here, and then you can just relax, and this is kind of like a spa treatment. Like, it's heated. It's for warming your feet. It's great. You'll, you will you would love it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So this is a, this is an orthopedics center. It's just sometimes involuntary. All right. You like how I almost forgot this again? Anything gonna knock me off? No. Uh, I wonder if I expand at some point. I ex come on, place it, place it. Let me get rid of my shield. Shields count sometimes. Eh. Eh. Err. Okay, fine. I don't know what's in this one. I, uh... These earlier areas are the first areas I worked on while making the map. And, uh... That, oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. That that right there is actually not completely troll. And I suppose I now have fuel. Among other things. I guess I'll use this as a weapon for a little bit. I mean, it's got an extra... I mean, it's 10 damage, 10 damage axe. Uh, how's that compare to just a diamond axe? Is a diamond axe 10 damage? No, it's more damage than a Minecraft diamond axe. That's... that's something, right? I could go up the stairs or dig in here. So this map makes a lot of use of uh, one-off Ancient Warfare spawns, the advanced spawners. So there's just one enemy, and if it spawns and you leave the area, it will come back. But if you if it spawns and you kill it, then uh, you're good to go. Oh, there's not much in here. Except for a cave spider. And pyromancer boots, which I can't wear, and some rando armor, also can't wear yet. That's okay. I guess I'll get the shield back out. You never know. Uh, but yeah, in my first playtest of this area, I had like... Uh, I would have, I think I had fought about 9 or 10 monsters so far. Ooh, okay. Can you make this jump? You might be able to make this jump. Ooh, you might be able to make that. I'm not going to try it, though. I'm not very good at parkour. That's probably one of my weaker elements as a player. It is on... Okay, it's on normal. I'm just tripping. I'm... Uh, RNG has just been like, let's get to put the monsters in all the other areas. Yeah, this is river biome, so it's not like nothing should spawn in here. And white will get. Oop. Yeah, I did too, Blue Jello. Let me, I'm just tripping a little bit. Hold on a sec. Let me game mode C.
Uh, where's my entity tracker? How many entities I'm looking at? Game rule do mom. Do mob spawning is on. Difficulty two. Difficulty is normal. I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Game mode SP. Are they all in... There should be a buttload of monsters around. I know I made... I know I made... There's one. I know I made the... Uh, honey pots nearby here bigger and more generous. Hmm. Not that generous. I mean, where are they, right? Like, honeypots is over here. Yeah, right down here. Like, if I give myself, like, uh, effect, vex, minecraft, night vision. If I give myself, like, 15 minutes night vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a honeypot right here. Even in the honeypot, there's not that many enemies. They must be spawned, uh, they must be spawned above me or something. Okay, anyway. Entity count. What's the view range? View range is seven chunks. I normally play, I normally play at about 16. But I think because I'm, um, recording actual video onto my computer's hard drive while also streaming, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it at like 10. Um, this is where if I was recording and not live streaming, I think, oh, this is a developer commentary. I can't cheat on it. Mm. But top sauce, during my developer commentaries, I will occasionally pop into uh, spectator mode to like look at something from an... Uh, an angle I can't get to in game or something like that. Um, I think that's enough to craft an XP block, but also um, this is where if I was just recording normally, I would have jump cut to me of mining mining all this out. Um, these are iron, and there's a lot of stuff in there that is iron. Um, so what this is is uh, you take the iron bars and you throw them in your furnace and melt them down and Oh, sarcasm? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't tell over text very well sometimes. Um, and I would just melt them down and uh, get some iron. There's a lot of resources. There's a lot of iron here in involuntary orthopedics here for the taking. Oh! Look at this! Okay. Whoa! Those things are so gross and creepy. Oh, uh, he's Ender? Where'd he go? Huh. Uh, but yeah, I was going to come back here after getting a proper spawn point down at the Victory Monument and uh, harvesting iron out of this place. Speaking of harvesting iron, actually, hey, buddy. Oh, you're over there. Well, let's, let's get on. We can always come back here, right? Eh, I guess RNG was just being really kind to me. Because there's monsters spawning. It was just kind of weird. It was, like, unusually quiet for some reason. I could probably think about it and review the footage and come up with an idea. I have an idea already. I think it's, um... No, I don't actually have an idea. But because... what the hell? Why am I poisoned? What? What poisoned me? What the heck poisoned me? Yeah, you're creepy. Oh! Oh, he's down there. He's under the- Oh, that's the guy. He's under the bridge. He was- His, uh, his, um, poison aura was coming up from under the bridge. What a troll. Literally. Troll. Under the bridge. Hi. You're creepy. Yeah. Dead now, though. So... Are... 
mystery. The foglet. Okay, so originally, um, the the uh, miners, the scuffed miner's friend, was found here in the uh, in the darkness under here. Because um, without the miner's friend equipped, uh, yeah, there was a, I believe there's a chest like right here in the darkness. And you're supposed to like bump into it, like, oh, what's this? And then you, then you're like, oh, what's this? A miner's friend. And you put it on. It's like, oh, hey, it's a dynamic light that er emanates from me and, and shows like all around. It's great. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of grottles which I would love to whack, but cannot whack right now. They are unwhackable by me. Um, this place, for whatever reason, just is ideal conditions to spawn grottles. I believe it's because it's a mushroom island biome, so they might be one of the few things that can spawn here. Um, and so here's intersection one. It's got like a little sword logo kind of thing going on in the intersection, and we just came from involuntary orthopedics and hint upwards to victory. Uh, yeah, some a few players didn't find the victory monument because because. They didn't look up, I guess, maybe, or they saw the chains here and just looked down and didn't look up, or or maybe they did look up, and then they, like, didn't go up there. Uh. Yeah. So. Uh, so I thought about that, and I was like, what can I do about that? So I put a diamond block there, just on the wall, you know? And I was like, maybe if the diamond block is there... Players will be like, oh, well, a diamond block. Let's go up there and get that. And so that's like to entice them to, to go up there. This is the charnel pit. Uh, charnel pit's probably the darkest thing in the pack. Hi, guys. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. Even with the... I, I want the bonus from the flanged mace. I think it's better still than the... I think the flanged mace bonus is better than the, the axe. I think, maybe. Not sure. Uh, so what those zombies were? That was uh, that was the ancient warfare advanced spawning stuff. Um, where you get close to it and like, let's see. If I happen to creative mode, you can see them. Um, they'll start showing up. Yeah, here's some. So you can see them through there. Their name tags is zombie. Uh, here's one. It's grottle. Like it's actually a physical block. Um, and this is ancient warfare structure, advanced spawner. So these are the one-shot guys, and uh, you get near them within a certain distance that's specified by them, and they spawn their assigned monster, which I have made very heavy use of in this pack. There's not that many actual uh, vanilla style spawners in the pack. Um, there's another wall of zombies, and let's party. I could use the XP, and this mace is pretty good at whacking them. So let's test the player's ability to can you like do basic Minecraft combat? Yes? Okay, good. Uh, also providing the player with the chance to get some intestines. Intestines are effectively basic loot crates. Let's see what I get. There's random kind of junk stuff, but also occasionally, like I just got two silver ingots out of a uh, out of a loot crate, which is not bad. Okay, so down here is uh, a secret area right there. But also, uh, I probably want to, for this episode, for this episode, I want to get to the Victory Monument and then tackle, like, one of the areas, I think, would be good. Um, I could also really use a little bit more XP. And these, I think you need a diamond pickaxe for these grottles. Come here, you. Oh my god, I'm going to fall... No, you idiot! 
Yeah, you need a diamond pickaxe. Uh, oh, there's a waystone. Let's go ahead and get the waystone. So I think for this episode, I'd like to get to the Victory Monument. I've got the white wool, but like that that's not enough. I want to like the Victory Monument plus some other type of a thing. I still don't have any blocks. I need blocks. Um, I could get to... Can I get retrieve blocks out of the quest system? Uh, construction would give me six, 64 cracked stone. That's not bad. Alright, cool. Um, I need blocks here, too. Ooh, spooky. I've got concrete powder, and I have... And there's a slate tile. If I go down here, though, I'm going to have to try to find blocks down below here. Well. Let's trust... Let's see if I can trust myself to provide, like, something to build with. Yeah, okay, there's some stuff down there I can build with. Um, there's also an absolute party down here. That looks neat. Let's go down here first. I want the waypoint. Okay, got intersection one waypoint, and uh, that sounds like fun in there. Uh, this piece of iron right here, this is for, um, the quest going caving. So looking at this iron gives you ropes and some XP and some planks and stuff. So I knew that by putting this here, I would be giving the player some rope. Um, the only problem is we're down here, and ideally the rope would be up there already. And I don't... Can you do... Can you be goofy? Can you put, like, rope... Underneath? No, you can't. That'd be, that would be really goofy. So, I probably... Here, I would probably just pillar up with... Um, let's take all the solid blocks we can get here. Can't mind that. And we have a faded cleric staff. Some apple juice and some... Probably what's left of the faded cleric, unless it's just... Well, I know something that this is a this is a prop put here by Housevania, but that gets into the plot of uh, Vexvania. It is a vampire castle role playing experience, as you may know. So this is going to be our new ranged weapon for a little bit that we cannot use yet. Never mind, forget about that. All right. Uh, let's see, concrete powder. Uh, let's make things easy for ourselves, yeah? Oh! Oh, it's a trap! It's set to, like, fall onto the torch and just get deleted. Wow. I'm glad I made things easier for myself. I think the best way to get through these guys is going to be... Um, <laughs> wooden Greatsword, I choose you. Legendary. Amazing. Sweep attack! Sweep attack! Sweep attack. Sweep crouch attack? Nope. Gotta crouch for the sweep attack. Yeah, if you crit, if you crit, it's just... Ooh, a blinded one! Ah! It's on me! Get it off! 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 Oh god, they're all off! They're crawling on me! I hate these! Get off! Get off! Oh, he's really strong! Oh, a blinded parasite killed me! Dang it! Dang it, Bobby! Well, first death to a blinded parasite. Coming out of, uh, there. Turns out they can climb the wall. I should have targeted him first, specifically the blighted one, so... Uh, my mistake there was targeting the ones on the ground and not the blighted one first. Because the blighted one was doing the real damage. 
Or, or I could have, you know, used a potion of lingering damage and just tossed it in there and, you know, smoked him out with some raid. Uh, I could also take the waystone. Um, I could take the waystone over there. Oh, hey, goblin. Uh oh. It's a lot more crowded this time through. Yeah, I'm glad I locked Anya away, Anastasia, in the um, in the thing there. Pardon me, guys. No, 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 no. Pardon me. I gotta get back through here. Ooh, look at that. That's a lot of stuff. No time to talk. I, I would like your iron, though, if you would give it to me. Thank you. Hi, spider. I need to light this place up, I think, when I come back through here. Stupid blighted parasite of all things. Oh, hey! Um... Hey! The little indentation for the light is perfect! I love it. Look at look how look how satisfying that is. Skadoosh. That's fantastic. Hey, my hey, the member crab's down there. He got all my stuff. Okay, so this is actually great. This is a good uh demonstration of the well, an okay one, I suppose. Of the uh death pile mechanic. Come here, you. I'll balk you with this. He hit me. Hey, some of my armor's still here. Alright. Um, yeah, of the death pile mechanic. Uh, when you die, you spawn a member crab. It used to be a banshee, and, you know, uh, players really, really loved that. They just couldn't get enough of the death banshee. They told me repeatedly how much they enjoyed the death banshee. So, so because they loved it so much, and uh, kept uh, kept dying on my server, and then, and then it just... To just death banshees all over the spawn of the server repeatedly. Um, I was like, okay, well, um, I see how much fun you're having with that, and that's good. I'm glad you're having that fun. So uh, I'm going to be mean and take it away from you. Take away your fun and make it a mimic crab instead. But uh, mechanically speaking, I believe it's a much better fit because the mimic crab... Uh, the mimic crab grabs your death pile and kind of stores it inside of himself as NBT data. Um, and because of that, you can come back and kill them, and they, as far as I can tell, the Mimic Crabs do not despawn. Hello, Grottle. I can't mine those. Mine this. Ooh, stuff. So, in this mod pack, the Mimic Crab is the Death Mal Pal mechanic. Okay, so if you get here and you're going to kill a bunch of zombies... Um, I didn't actually think about the, the chance for a Blighted Parasite, but that was a uh, really cool thing to learn. So, if you have a big group of zombies you're going to kill them all at once, you should be prepared for the potential for a swarm of parasites, and any time a, a bunch of new enemies will spawn in, you are rolling the dice on the chance of uh, a Blight being among them. So you should prepare for that. You should probably be like, okay, a bunch of enemies are about to spawn in. If one of them is a Blight, what is my plan for that? Um, or or you could be like me. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Fire-type. I appreciate it. Um, or you... Oh, he was trying to say yo, but the computer lady just read you. Well, um, or you could be like me and literally have a fantastic means of just gassing them all with lingering damage potions um, and choose to not use that. And you could also, oh, hey, I got heart containers. So part of my death is made up for, I suppose. Um, you could choose to be like me and have good means of dealing with the problem but then like botch it horribly and die but 
I'm kind of glad I died there, because I got to show off on the first episode the death pile mechanic, which is not entirely a bad thing to show off. Alright, so this needs to be... Actually, I think I'd rather have it on that side. Okay, is there anything else down here? Yeah, okay, so over here, um, you used to be able to get over here. And what's over here now is a... Uh, um, it's a bedrock wall. Uh, this is the this is the super hostile decor smooth bedrock dart is what block this is. This is from the super hostile decor mod. Um, this in here is it's just a honey pot. A certain alpha tester assaulted it, so I sealed it up completely. Um, I don't remember who came in here, who it was, but they ran into the honey pot. And any time a player assaults a honey pot, it's just it's kind of uh, kind of a, a mess. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and completely seal it up. All right, what's in here? Let's go this way. Uh, I kind of hate putting torches on the nice-looking red tile, so we'll put put the torches off to the side, I suppose. What am I looking at? Oh, oh, you. Hello. Where's my ranged option? Oh, God. There's my ranged option. Where's my other ranged options? Here and here. Ah! Ah! They found me. They found me. Oh, hide. Wait, I've got nowhere to run. Oh, this is very bad. Ow! Stop it! Please! No! No! Not a second death! Not a second death! Ah! Oh, ah. Go up the ladder! Quickly! Uh-oh, I'm gonna die here for, sh for reals. Oh, no! No, no, no! No! Dodge! Okay. Dodge. 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 No, I jumped into it like a fool! Curse me for my bad reflexes! But I'm back! I shouldn't have come back. Nah, I'm fine. Give me my stuff back, Member Crab. Thank you, Member Crab. Thank you. I don't know if I got all of my stuff back there, actually. <laughs> oh, I did not take the Cecilias very seriously. I forgot how hard they can hit at lower level. Alright, let's go this way. Hello, Big Witch Tome. No, don't knock me down here! Uh, one thing I do have is I did get some wood from the quest, which means I can make a crafting table, which means I can do a few basic things. Um, let's see. Also, oh, and by the way, I'm obviously, this is not supposed to be a perfect run of Exylvania. Um... I don't really care that much if I die. I think it would be cool to try a uh, hardcore run of Vexylvania. I might try to do that. That seems like a good thing to stream. Um, is a zero death run of Vexylvania. That that sounds fun. Um, oh, anyway. Uh, so I'm going to need a few things. I need to spin my XP. I want gathering to six. So there's your infinite wood and building to six. Not quite. All right, we'll get that to six in a second. Um, I had a few things here. I had some copper nuggets I picked up, and I have some iron token, and I thought I had another token in my inventory. Am I blind? I'm kind of blind right now. Well, in any case, we do have an iron token, so let's go ahead and redeem that. Um, oh, I got more XP from the quest here. And... Neat. I don't want any of that right now. And I got guards. Oh, I got guards on duty beat. Oh, the fences. Right. I could have put down fences. Ah, uh, ha, ha. I feel dumb. Well, I have a town hall block now, which is pretty cool. Anyway. Fences would have been so useful there. To block off the uh, rushing Cecilia's at me. Um, don't need you. All right, so I got some food. Neat. Uh, but yeah, the copper. So six is enough for like what? 
Not the pants. Helmet? I can make the light copper helmet. Aha. Alright, cool. That was perfectly enough for, like, everything. Um, this gives me a gathering, and I can get uh, enough stuff here for a furnace. I would like to take my um with me for now, though. Yes! Ooh, rare! Sweet! Made a decent stat roll. Alright, uh... What gear do I not care about as much? Probably, uh... We'll just put the fences on our bar. Um, we'll keep these little bonk sticks out. Uh... These pyromancer boots are... I gotta be honest, I, I don't really... We're good. I don't really care about those. I got a flint and steel. I got a button. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and use up these bombs? Right? I mean, when am I going to use these? Do they get any arrows? No, I don't have any arrows. Alright. What is that? I can't see. That's just a spider. Well, come forth then, spider. Oh, also, where's my torches up? Did I drop them? Oh no! Looks like I may have lost some lost a bit of inventory. Well, lanterns it is then. I would really like what's on the uh, altar over there. What is that? I see something. I'm trying to identify by silhouette, and it's a little slightly tough. Oh, that's just a goblin. Goblin in his tome. I like the goblin mace. That'll help me rebuild. There's a haunted tool. Uh, yeah, I'm missing my javelins too. That kind of sucks. There's a mer. Okay, that's a mermaid. That's what I was seeing. All right. I really, really do not want to make the mermaid angry. She's 160 hit points, among other things. If I make her angry, she is going to uh, peel me like a potato. And it will be sad, and I will be sad, and you guys will be entertained, but I will be sad. And that is a bone guard. That is a bone knight. This is the time. This is the time for uh, fences. Woo, that was close. Hi. Yes. Berserk? Oh, he's Berserk. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely, that was definitely the time for fences. Uh, you're immune to poison. But that still did some damage to you. Uh, yeah, those did like nothing to <laughs> So I'm going to have to cheese you to death. Now, would you please step closer, sir? Is this an anti-cheese mechanic? Oh, there we go. Okay. I was worried for a second. I'm like, is he going to... Is he just going to chill and stare at me? Because that would be really funny, and I wouldn't even... I would code the monsters to do that. You know, like if I could... Can you not hit me if I get all the way up in your face here? Oh, yes, you, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can. I fell. Back up. I wish I had more of my gear, like my shield. Oh, I've got my shield. Well, I guess I could have fought you somewhat fairly, and we could have had, like, a warrior duel. Although, honestly, with you having uh, Berserk on you, I like, you hit, like, a truck, and I would probably die in, like, three hits from you. But don't worry, you're still damaging me by me being just a clumsy dummy who falls off his, the, his own blocks that he placed. So that, there's that. Yeah, I lost all of those wooden axes, too, which, you know. Eh, I'm all right. With that, that's okay. RNG, take the wheel! Eh. Uh. Eh! Uh. Cool. 
Oh, also cool. We have armor technology. Well, that was funny. You want to fall off? Hey, yeah, do. Oh, they're running out of range of the advanced spawner and resetting themselves. I thought I was I thought I was getting rid of them by that, but they're they are not being gotten rid of at all. Oh, that's that's tricksy. That's sneaky. I love it. Well, I suppose I should rush them with my shield up. Uh, but wait. Where's my bread out? Bread, please. Because I think I have this for another minute. Yeah, a minute and a half. I'm trying to get a lingering potion on them. Can I get this right in the middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk over that. Walk over that. Walk over... Oh, there's blighted ones. Oh, crap. There's blighted ones. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> I fell off again. <laughs> uh, let me let me make this have like there we go. I need to like baby proof my own thing. Hey, the wither potion's getting them pretty good. Come here, you. Give me give me your XP. Yes. Yes. I have made progress. All right. Let's see here. Uh, the next up we won't. Hmm. Probably defense to six, attack to six. Ah, can almost get it. <clears throat> They're bubbly fubbly. Storm quick. Oh, storm! Storm! Where's the roof? It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. I don't feel like getting struck by lightning and set on fire. If you, if you're cool with that, like, if we can just be cool with that. Right, now my plan for the parasites this time is to simply go up the rope. They climbed the rope! They climbed the rope! They climbed the rope! My plan has failed! Oh god, wait, don't panic, just get on the other side of the rope. Can you reverse yourself on the rope? Huh? Hmm? Can you... Can you... Can you... Do you have the dexterity to actually go around the rope? Hmm? Hmm? No? Then you cannot get me. Ha ha! I have outsmarted the parasitical worms, which... Which, um... I am smarter than parasitical worms. That's... That's cool. That, that, that doesn't actually sound like much of a compliment. <laughs> that doesn't sound like much of a compliment at all! No! I am... <laughs> okay. Hey! Owl. Bye. A weird flex, but okay. <laughs> I was just looking for any flex, okay? I just dealt with a bunch of... a bunch of crap. I just wanted something. I wanted a win, damn it. Alright, looks like... there's the skellies left, which we will raise shields and... Do I have another one of those things? Because that worked pretty well. Where are they at? I lost them. Uh, uh, if I chill and keep my shield raised, I can cause infighting here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shoot, shoot again. Level 6 attack. Oh boy. 
Oh, you spooky boy. You but but you a dumb boy. But you are a spooky boy. Gimme, I want it. Yes, mine. Ah! You can't stop me. I got it. Later, suckers. Uh, what do we get? Unique. Mending, unbreaking, sharpness, and soul binding. And it's got... Yeah, it's got mending on it, so there's my... It's got soul binding, so I'll never lose it either. Uh, unless I die so much that I go through all of the soul bindings. Which... You know, that would never happen. Right? So, uh, sharpness three, unbreaking three. So this is a uh, this is the blade of Vexmor. Um, it is a reference to the dungeons of Vexmor, which I made a very long time ago, and those were a series of interlocking rand. Like, I made I made a bunch of cubes that were that they always had a like uh, north, south, east, and west exit. Um. And so no matter what cube you had, you could put it beside the others and they would link up, right? And I made 20 of them, and then I started just, started with a grid on a map and rolling a d20, and whatever came up is what type of cube I would put there. And so I manually made a random procedurally generated dungeon out of them. Um, so it's, proce it's procedural... Shit. No. Woo. Woo. That was close. I almost got knocked off. Um. Attack rank nine. Ha ha. Funny. Eh. Damn it. Okay. This is not my main weapon yet. It goes. This goes back in the thing. I can use this though. This is nice. Have at the vile skellies. When he comes back, is he going to be... I need to, like... There we go. Got him. Woo! Okay. Looks like that's the end of him. Uh, lantern. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, it looks like the bridge is broken. Well. Surely the bridge that is poking off the platform here that's broken probably never went anywhere, so... There's probably no reason to ever go this way and investigate that way. You know, I could probably just forget about it. And never, never, like, interact with that again, ever. Um, let's see. Treasure? Treasure? That's a fish. I'll take fish. Secret? 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 Yes! A loop of... Re Plus one spell range modifier increases mana cost by 25. So what that actually is, is, uh, what that actually is, is plus six to my max HP. That's what that actually is. And I am totally turning all of this copper into armor. Aha! I might do that right now before I do anything else, just in case I get in another fight from something that spawns. Uh, uh mm, I could really use a pack, actually. Um, also, I should probably... Yeah, we'll take this win here, getting the Blade of Exmoor. Uh, this will be White Wool, Vexmore, and Victory Monument. Um, and then I'll go, like, make a base where I can actually put stuff down and clean out my inventory, because it's getting a little junked up. Um, right. Uh, I want to deface Copper Owls. Hold down Control shift and click that really fast to do it really quick. There you go. And now I have a bunch of Copper Nuggets, which I will make Light Copper with, which is not a very good armor set, but it is armor at all, 
And having armor at all is way better than having no armor. So we got boots, that's poor quality boots. Well, that kind of sucks. We got a chest, poor quality chest. Wow. And then to make up for it, RNG takes the wheel and hooks me up with a legendary quality light copper pants, which I will... Yeah, that that right there just makes up for the other two, like Big League. Um, I definitely think I should clean out... Got some minced meat. Can I just go ahead and convert this into bait? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's bait. Um, these scrolls are of dubious usefulness. That's candlelight. That's <gasps> no. Oh, I'm so glad I was in the middle of the platform. But even still, no, please. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> well. <sighs> <laughs> Oops. Okay, so what did I lose? Did I lose anything valuable? I think I got everything back, right? My inventory still looks really cluttered, so I assume I got everything back. Uh, like I was saying, I want to protect my copper. I really want to keep the copper. It's it's eminently useful as, as a uh, making light copper armor. And I can make a bunch of light copper with the uh, with what I have here. Yeah, remind me to uh, <clears throat> mess with spells in, like, in my base, I suppose. Maybe maybe don't do it so close to an area with, uh, with Void around. That was, uh... See, I'm just teaching you guys, right? Like, I'm just teaching you how to properly play. That's all I'm doing. Believe me, right? Oh my gosh, look at all my saturation I have now. This is great. Boosh! <sighs> Thank you, Creeper. Thank you. Ow! Ow! Okay. Alright, so... Some of these chests have critters in them. Fantastic. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna I might... Start. We're we're at the we're at the approach of uh, where are these dang bows? No, are you like a super bow? Because otherwise, like I don't even have any arrows yet. I guess I could try to buy some arrows with the uh, anything good? Epic. Okay. Eat. It's more about the HP at this point than the armor. <gasps> Woo! Honey bottles! Heck yeah! That's pretty generous. Maybe that's too generous. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Why wouldn't there be a chicken in here? Hello, chicken. Okay, a chicken just lives here now. Wholesome. Like the wholesome chicken. Alright. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna take my with me. Alright, it's Bitru Monument time. We looted the Blade of Exylvania. We have the White Wool. We can go put the wool on the Victory Monument and... Pardon me? This way? I'm really good with ropes. Alright, go this way. And, uh... You know what? Maybe I shouldn't light up the, uh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't actually light up the starter area so that I can use it to decrease, divert spawns from, uh, from the later areas. Uh, what I should do, I think, is to come through here and get a little bit of light into some of these hallways that are a little on the dark side. Oh, hi guys. Cool. Want to go up here yet? Not really. Okay. Oh 
my god. I desperately need to set up a base and clear it, clean out my inventory. Let's take a quick drink break and... I don't think I need... I don't really know what I need right now. Let's get out of here. But hopefully I won't fall off this and die. Hello, Grottle. That's kind of amazing that you have managed to get on the damn chain like that. That's, uh... I am amused. Huh. Okay, so this is the thing I said I was good at, is navigating my way around the side of the thing without falling. Yeah, just do it smooth, easy, nice and easy, no need to freak out, and up we go. Ah! And I'm going to need this thing. Says, Welcome to the Victory Monument! <clears throat> uh, this is the Vexmore Overlook. And you can run around and light it up with your uh, flint and steel. I really like this Victory Monument area. I wonder if I can light everything up. And the reason I'm not getting swarmed with monsters is this is all Mushroom Island biome. So, I like how I took damage just trying to, like, light the place up. It's good job, me. So, you don't really have to light this up, but, you know, it looks really cool to uh, light up all the things in here. Um, this room here is kind of intended to have the player's room, like your bedroom or something. And then this right here is the special blue token that you can warp yourself and Anastasia to, to here. So. I um, better move in and make myself at home. Because I will live in there. Cool. Uh... Got a little bit more light up right here. Almost done. And so there's the uh, altar of Vexmoor down there. You can actually see, jump up here and look down. You can see a small amount of bridge protruding silhouette right there. And then this is just cave out here lit up by recessed glowstone that's hidden. It's mostly just to uh, basically to look really cool and to provide a uh, some depth to the background of the Victory Monument as you look at the Victory Monument. Um, I think this area looks really cool. Um, and I love the darkness as it just goes up above you and you can't see the ceiling. Um, it looks very spooky. I like a lot of how Vexylvania looks. Um, some area, there, there are a few areas I struggled to decorate a little bit, like, uh, and I suppose I'll, I'll point those out later, um. This chamber is the. This is basically where the farm is going to be. Um, behind here is a big farming area. Now this used to be uh, this all used to be bedrock here, and I transformed it to be slate tile so that you can knock out walls. You have some leeway to knock out walls, um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, And white wool, boom. Cool. First dungeon done. Uh, base will be established. Uh, got some chests here. And I would like to get a warehouse set up ASAP. Um, that's going to be building level 9. And I am currently at building level 6. And uh, but before I get the warehouse set up, the next important thing I would say is attack and defense, build and gathering, and then 
Next one's going to be farming to six, so I can make sure I never run out of food. I have a decent amount of food. Um, you probably have enough food to maybe attempt a speedrun with just your stack of olive oil bread sticks. Because speedrunners can be really quick with stuff. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to move into this room with the red uh, thing on red stuff on the floor. Um, boom, 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 and oh, I'm so ready for this. Ah! I'll sort. I'll, I'll have to sort all of this later, but dang. I, I the sorting can be done off camera. You don't want to sit here and watch me monkey with my inventory for like a half hour. But I just want everything out of my inventory. Oh, it feels so nice. Everything out. Everything in here. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to need to uh, set my spawn in here, so I'm going to need a bed. Um, bed is going to be survival basics. Bed. i got to make a bed. So I just need some cloth. Um, I might have killed enough... Did I kill enough spiders and get enough loot to... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're good. Um, I got enough string from either quests or from uh, quests or monster drops or loot chest. Wherever I got it from, I managed to get enough string for a bed here. Um, I like coming out too, so you don't like clip into the thing. Hey, and it's even nighttime. Fantastic. Okay, I have my spawn here. Um, by the way. By the way, if you ever need to set your spawn point, and you, for whatever reason, are in some weird situation where all you can get a hold of is some netherite and a piece of netherrack, or sincinonite and a piece of netherrack, so we're all sincinonite and netherrack, you just do one of these and make a respawner statue, and this will let you click on it while holding glowstone, and if you do that, you will set your... Uh, you will set your spawn. So that can be used to actually set your spawn in the nether, among other things. Or you can use it because it just looks cool, right? Alright, so white wool, spawn set, got the blade of Exmoor. Uh, welcome to Vexylvania. Um, wearing light, light copper. Good old light copper. Um, so I think that's it for now. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching the live stream. YouTube, thank you very much for tuning in. And I will see you guys not on live stream, but just on YouTube on episode two. And uh, yeah, anything else? I got? Any other comments I got <clears throat> for this? Um, yeah, actually I do. I, uh, I'm just going to... Uh, game mode... I don't have a pick with me. I just want to hurry up and... and say what I, 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 so here's the farm room, you just break through the wall, boom, farm. Um, there's nothing really over here, it's just a wall. Um, so this is a open to the sky, so that you can, uh, the reason it has to be open to the sky here is if the player did want to farm dynamic trees, they have to be open to the sky. Uh, that, that's basically it. Um, also, this is intended to be your primary chunk if you did want to come in here. If you want to press F3 and G, um, I set this. This is, a, again, slate here, so you can tunnel into the wall a little bit. The slate goes down to about here-ish, so you have a decent amount. You can tunnel down. Um, and some of these other walls are slate as well, so you can you can make some renovations here now. It used to all be bedrock, and uh, one of my patrons, who's right there in chat, actually tunneling cat, was like, hey, "Can you make it not nothing but bedrock, so that we have like some option of like mounting machinery in the floor and stuff like that?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that." Um, <clears throat> so here's your basic like starter farm area to get going. And I think for me, I am going to put my, I'm going to do a one chunk, uh, do a one chunk farm and have, I think probably my main warehouse. I don't know. I don't think I need a where a huge warehouse, but I might have a storage warehouse and then like a farm warehouse or something. Um, but all of my machinery is going to be in this specific chunk right here. 
And that means part of it, I can dig out the wall and mount it in the wall as well. So yeah, so that's the farming area. That's all I really have to say about it, except for the eagle-eyed players might notice something up there. We will talk about that in a later episode of so F3G. Let me get, get myself back to normal mode. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Uh, I hope you guys have fun playing Vexelvania. Until then, as always, take it easy.